Welcome back to The Division 2. Before we get into this, I just... I don't want people overhyping this because it's just the most pointless stuff they are adding to this game. It, it doesn't deserve anyone to hype it up. Yeah, they could potentially be good changes, but what is the point? It's far too late to do any of this stuff. So we're going to start off with a couple of priority alerts. I couldn't be bothered to go into depth this week. I'm getting so sick and tired of following these live streams and just hearing the amount of rubbish that comes out of their mouths. Literally watching these streams is like watching your local bin man empty all of the rubbish onto like a tip. Just you literally watch these like mechanical machine things just lift up and you see all the rubbish just pour out. That's exactly what it feels like watching these streams, just watching that stuff. Control points, whatever's happened with them, they've been fixed. Guess what? They fixed broken elevators in the summit. Why are your elevators breaking down in the summit? How does that even happen? Why is that a random bug that's come into the game since 11.1? But this stuff, it, it's just recently been fixed. I don't know how long it happened for, how long it was going on for or whatever, but that's been worked out in their recent maintenance or whatever. So now this is one of the things that people are 50-50. You had some people saying, oh my god, yes, can't wait, absolutely love this idea. Then you had other people saying, oh, I can see the end of the game is very, very near. The optimization station, which will include exotics, or an amazing thing to point out, you're going to be able to optimize your exotics as well. That's making a comeback from Division 1 into Div 2 when Title Update 12 drops. No idea when. They could have just said with Season 4, because that's typically when we get a title update, when they introduce the new season. They've increased our inventory size from 100 pieces of gear on our character in the inventory but absolutely no increase to our stash, which is what players want. Instead of going 50 items in your inventory, go 200 items for your stash. How hard would it be to put our stash from 300 to 500? That's what players want. I don't like running around with my inventory full up. I'm, I've got OCD and I'm very, very picky about what's in my inventory. The only time you'll ever see me with more than one piece for each like different piece of gear, the only ever time you'll see me with more than one bit is when I'm running multiple loadouts and doing different challenges and stuff. Other than that, I literally have my one build on me and that is it. Two weapons, one sidearm and one piece of gear for each of the different gear pieces in the game. So they then carried on to say that you cannot optimize your mods. You still have to go out and grind for your mods, but there are absolutely no limitations to maxing out the god rolls on every piece of gear you have. So we'll finally get to pick those people out of the community that said, oh, when you've got all your max gear, you're not going to play the game. We'll see when people max out their builds, like regardless of mods, forget the mods because they're annoying to grind. They never really dropped like high-end mods, the maxed god rolls ones or whatever. They're an absolute nightmare to get hold of, basically. But we'll see, when everyone's got all this optimization done to their builds and stuff, we'll see if people are still playing the game, because I guarantee if numbers don't pick up, they'll stay around the same. People that get their perfect builds are not going to stop playing the game for the reason that they have a build very quick. It's an RPG game. You're supposed to use stepping stones to get to the best gear possible, and once you've got there, have fun on the content available in the game. That's where players are going to leave, when there is a huge lack of content. The summit is not acceptable to be content in this game based on the last eight months of development. Ever since Warlords, the only thing we've had outside of the raid, which is locked to like 2% of the player base that are able to complete it or whatever, Outside of that, the only PvE content we've had is the Summit, and that mode itself is not acceptable. What they have done now is there are challenges, improvements, and commendations being made to the Summit. There are new objective types. How many times are we going to hear that stuff? They're just chucking layer upon layer. We'll get to that at the end of the video. But there's going to be short and long-term challenges. But here's the thing. If you can make it to floor 100, and you haven't completed one of your challenges... It's a big fuck you, middle fingers up, get back and restart that challenge. As soon as you get to floor 100 and you haven't completed one of your challenges, take down the hunters, go back to floor 1. Your challenges, each and every single one of them, are reset. But what they have done is there are milestone rewards, including an exotic assault rifle for your fifth milestone. 
I think it's the big horn. I wasn't paying full attention at this point, but they're not going to give out the eagle bearer. That's realistically the only other exotic AR. Oh, I mean, you might get a chameleon. Never know. I, I don't know exactly how that one's working, but basically there's milestone rewards. Your fifth one is the best one being an exotic assault rifle because like your 30th milestone or whatever is just going to give you an exotic cache. And we all know that they're trash besides getting exotic components. They never give you things that you want. It's always like Sawyer's knee pads or just stuff that you've had a hundred times over. Tardigrades and, I don't know, the Dynasty holster, Imperial Dynasty, whatever. You're never going to use it. And then, this one is amazing. To make it more rewarding in the summit, instead of just getting XP, when you reach a checkpoint, so floors 3, 6, 9, 10, and then the same floors with every, like, 10 floors up sort of thing, so 13, 16, 19, 20, so on and so forth, instead of just getting XP you now get targeted loot as well. You get one targeted loot drop. For each of those checkpoints, one targeted loot. How amazing is that? I mean, that's what I think about all day long. I think about, oh, when am I going to get a little break to jump into the summit on the Division 2 and just go for that targeted loot? You know that each directive you add into the difficulty, you get an extra 3% drop chance. And this targeted loot isn't dropping often because 9 times out of 10, it's accompanied by a normal loot drop. And how often is that dropping? Oh, it barely does drop ever since they implemented the ability to choose your own targeted loot because they don't actually want you getting your builds. The only reason the optimization station has come out is because they're either getting ready to give us a new announcement of a new game division 3 because avatars just being delayed until 2022 or they're going to they're trying to keep us happy and then they're going to go boom games in maintenance mode either that or the very very unlikely one at this current time a new expansion for year three that's all they're doing they are literally just trying to give you the most stupid shit that's going to please these little minds that see a shiny turd and fall in love with it. And oh, and add some glitter to this shiny shit and people are going to absolutely fall in love with it. It, just, it makes it stand out so much more. That's all they're doing. Just throwing out a turd and just polishing it up with glitter every now and then. And just th these tiny minded people are just, oh, this is so amazing. I can't wait for this. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm doing my challenges. I'm getting on with having fun in the game, playing the game. I want to. And then I'm out. I'm, I'm done with this fucking game. I'm sick and tired of it. 18 months plus we've been going on with this shit. And I'm not doing it anymore. Division 1 was just as bad as this. And they carried it on in the second game after telling their community they've learned from their mistakes. Pull the fucking other one. This one is also amazing. Because, you know, people are always moaning about everything in the game. To do the weekly summit project, you no longer have to complete the entire game mode once per week. I mean... A week, two hours a day, I managed on normal difficulty to run through the entire mode in three hours, 20 minutes in a four-man group. So uh, three hours, well, let, let's just say that it's a little bit tougher. You don't have as good a build as I have or whatever. Just putting out pure example, say it takes you six hours. Six hours to complete Summit on normal difficulty in the space of a week. Boom. You have an entire week to get through these projects and people have been complaining. So now, instead of having to do the entire mode, just got to do 30 floors. You know, they, they've cut 70% of it out. 70% of that weekly project has gone. So now you're getting these exotic caches just literally thrown at you like backpack trophies were and how materials and stuff are and credits and shit. It's all, it's all just being thrown in your face. Like, have this, have that, have this, have that. But the big problem is... They're not giving us the right stuff. We want actual thought about pieces of gear. We want the rainbows properly dealt with. We want more loot drops in the summit. We want new missions. We want legendary on said missions and all the normal missions in the game as well. We want at least Manning National Zoo legendary difficulty. I mean, it's a fucking stronghold after all. The other three strongholds in the game have legendary available. Why not the zoo? We just want new content to play. The PvP community are going ape shit in the chat and they're ignoring every single fucking question. I know Redstorm aren't working on the game so PvP's highly unlikely, but at least address it and say, look, we don't have that team anymore. We'll make balancing changes, but that's it. Answer the community, that's all you've got to do. But guess what tops it all off, makes this whole thing so fucking stupid. There's a new directive coming in to the summit. I don't know if it's available in the open world, but at least the summit. It's called Ragers, or something like that. And it's going to grant the enemy overhill. 
they're going to be able to heal over their max amount of health and get more health or armor than what they currently have. Yet a thing that's supposed to help us, something called overcharge, seeing as we are division agents, overcharge lasts 15 seconds and we get a 90 second cooldown. Yet these enemies that people are already complaining about and have been since this stupid mode launched, nothing is happening besides them getting more fucking buffs. I've showed footage of Yannick the Beard, that secret boss, he hit me for 54 million damage. Enemies hit probably just as hard, you won't see as high damage numbers, but they kill you just as fast as he does. Maybe a little bit slower, but now they're overhill, so they're even harder to kill. More bullet sponge bullshit when they told us there were no bullet sponges in this game. And you ready for this, because this one's amazing and I want to get through the rest of this video fairly fast, I can't be asked anymore. I want to go do some more challenges and actually have fun, enjoy what I'm posting, because I've been enjoying a lot of stuff on this channel recently, absolutely loving my time streaming Watch Dogs and stuff. Then I watch this stream and I just get pissed off with it because it's the same shit from the same people. I would say week in, week out, but this is all they have to tell us after a month of no state of the game. No answering the community's questions, no talking about why they haven't been around for the last month. They're literally just, this is title update 12. They haven't ever spoken about title update 11.1. They just said a couple of things that were coming into it. They normally, after like a new season drops, they have a stream and they go, oh, this is how it's currently going. This is what's happening in the game, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't do any of that with 11.1. They just released it, did a couple of unscheduled maintenances, a lot of server restarts and everything. And that was with CU11 as well. And they haven't really spoken about anything. They just go, oh, you know what? We're just going to try and overhype people just for the sake of getting that little bit of extra money, try and get their friends to purchase the expansion and stuff so they can play this uh, summit mode with them. They've, they've literally just, oh, we're going to talk about TU12. That's all they've done. But listen to this. You can now, you now have the ability to pick up your turret. You can pick up your turret so it doesn't go on full cooldown. I'm sorry, but what build do you run a turret with? Because the last time I checked, you don't run a turret on a DPS build. You run it on a skill build with skill haste and skill damage. How long are your turret cooldowns? Because mine on my build is 13 seconds. When you are playing the Division 2, it will typically take you 15, 20 seconds to get to the next area. Why the fuck do you need to pick up your turret? You don't need to at all. And I don't know who's been requesting this stuff. Fuck your turret, destroy it and wait, it's 13 seconds. If there's anything we should have the ability to pick up, that's let us put one skill tier on our build, use our revive hive, and when it revives us, and we have that second charge there, let us pick that back up, so that we don't have to wait three minutes. But oh no, 13 seconds, that's so important you, you pick that piece of shit up. But guess what? That's for the assault turret. Does it work for things like the mortar turret? Well, all they can tell us is it works differently. In other words, they're unaware of the clip I've seen recently. Someone sent it to me on uh, Instagram. And uh, the mortar turret doesn't actually work a lot of the time. You fire those artillery shells, they're mortar shells, and they don't explode when they hit the enemy. And that's recent footage. That's a new, like, a current bug in the game. So they haven't bothered fixing the mortar turret or any of the other skills that don't work, like trying to deploy your shield and it's constantly greyed out so you can't actually use it on your survivability build and all that bollocks. They don't bother fixing anything. Oh, it's going to work differently for the mortar turret. Oh, the assault turret, you can pick it up. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Just more, more glitter to just dazzle over the top of our shit that we've fucking developed over the course of a few years that we don't actually care about as long as we can grab a little bit of money off you before we decide we want to go on vacation. We want to disappear for a month with absolutely no word as to why from any of us. We have no community developers left. Chris Gansler left. Nicky Cuppins has left. They're all gone. Absolutely no one left. Bruce hasn't been active for a long time. I've seen interns posting about stuff happening within the game. Where are your fucking professional, experienced developers? I mean, they're all classed as professional or whatever. Where are your experienced developers working on a game that doesn't come out for two years because they want to release that alongside the movie? Yeah, okay. They've added in a new feature. Uh, you can always show your mask now. Uh, apparently, a lot of people have been asking for that one, but they haven't spoke about the thing that people have actually been asking for. And... Uh, Coyote's mask, Vile mask, why can't I see them on my character? Why did you release an entire transmog feature, function, mechanic, system, whatever, 
Why did you release Transmog, which is all purely based on appearance? Why did you release that into the game without the ability to show your mask? Why have people had to wait this long to show your mask? I mean, at this point, yeah, there's probably been a lot of people that have clicked off the video or whatever, but if you're still watching and you're not agreeing with me, then there's something to agree on. They released an entire system around appearance and didn't give you the ability to turn your mask, like to have it always on for months after. Why did it take them this long? That's right, because they were too busy making all these changes for the summit. The ones that took two weeks to make these changes and tell us about them after the mode had come out, but it's taken them over a year and a half and they still haven't actually fixed the revive hive. It still doesn't work. Players are still fighting with it to res their friends. There is still a revive glitch. It doesn't happen anywhere near as much as it did at one point, but that revive glitch where you physically cannot revive your friends, that still happens in the summit. Is there a fix for that? Fuck no. They're gonna just implement a feature so you can always show your mask. Oh, and they've also added a mod filter in because I, I don't know about you, but when I hold down start and I go down to my mods, I have red, blue, and yellow in their own categories. Why do I need to filter through them? When I'm trying to put a mod on my piece of gear, I have all my blues at the top, then my reds, and then my yellows, or how whichever order it goes in. Why do I need to filter my mods? They're already in their own categories. Fuck off with your stupid stuff. Add in things that are going to help players out. You don't need to filter your mods. Stop being lazy. And then you're ready for this, because this is pretty much bringing it to the end of the video now. Season 4 has one new global event. They've got this little star shop. If you've been really good and you've done your global event challenges, you can go to the star shop. Guess what you can buy in said star shop? An exotic cache for 20 stars. Crafting materials for 3 stars and recalibration materials for 12 stars. It doesn't affect your progression. No, because they want you to keep your progression for everything. I mean, to be fair, that's a nice touch. You don't lose progression. But that's just standard anyway. If you did lose progression, then there's even more wrong with these developers than I originally thought. But... You have this star shop, you go in and you buy the most pointless fucking stuff. The optimization coming into the game has no limitations on maxing out your gear with god rolls. So, uh, excuse me, why can't I use my stars to actually buy a piece of gear that might be used in one of my builds? I don't want more exotic components. I have so many spare exotics in my stash because you can only have 20 exotic components and I've had so many duplicates of exotics. Why can't you increase my exotic components to 50 so I can go and get rid of 30 things out of my stash? Why are we locked to 20 exotic components? There are so many little things these developers could do with this game that would make significant changes and bring player happiness to the game, but they refuse to do it because they're literally brain dead. They don't have a fucking clue what they're doing with their own game. And it is clear as, it's literally crystal clear. They do not know what they are doing with their own game. And that is why I hate with a passion Massive Entertainment. I can't stand their development company. It is literally one of the most shoddiest companies in the world. And no, I'm not talking about publishers. You've got Ubisoft obviously publishing the Division 2. You've got EA. There's loads of different publishers out there. I'm not talking publishers. I'm talking developers. Massive Entertainment are a shambles. I don't know why they still have their jobs, if I'm completely honest. For Division 3... I would love to see Red Storm lead in the show. I would love to see Massive Entertainment get put on the back burner and a team that brought the Division 1 back and kind of saved it a little bit and helped out with that sort of phase of saving the game. I would love to see Red Storm take over and show Massive exactly how it's done. Their example for this uh, star shop or whatever is, oh, just in case I want to recalibrate lots of gear for whatever reason, that's, that's my whole point. There is no reason to recalibrate your gear and stuff all the time. If you're in the summit, you're barely getting drops. If you spend time on this game, there's no new content, there's no new gear that's actually relevant. You just like you bring in just variants of gear sets and stuff. There's nothing to work for in this game besides perfecting your builds. And recalibration doesn't do that. You recalibrate one attribute. Where is the request being fulfilled of being able to recalibrate one attribute and one talent, or two attributes. You've done the optimization station. Why couldn't we ever have what we have always asked for? You get transmog because it's a very old request. What, so in two years' time, if this game's still going, we're going to be able to recalibrate more stuff? What, when it's far too fucking late? And I just want to say, again, they all they ever do is just keep throwing layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of broken stuff into this game. Look at all the stuff they're doing with the summit again. The summit is so broken. There are doors that are not opening. 
even outside of the summit. You have enemies that are shooting you when you're in the sewers. They're on ground floor. They're on concrete above, like, they're on the surface. You're underground. They are shooting you through that floor. That's as mad as this game gets. But the summit, the doors aren't opening. The elevators weren't working. There are so many bugs. The NPC aggression is through the roof. The enemies are hitting like trucks, even red bars. There's a lot less elites because they're trying to do stuff with the loot drops. The amount is dropping. They've added the targeted loot and that system's broken because you need to get a normal loot drop in order to get targeted most of the time. And it just rarely ever drops loot. There's so much broken stuff, but oh no, they can hide all that broken stuff by adding in new stuff that does work and people will forget about the old stuff. No, we won't. We are players of this game. We are gamers. We remember stuff that happened. And just another thing, I've got a video, don't know when it's coming, but I've recently edited it. It's three and a half month old footage and I'm titling it, The Enemies Are Too Aggressive. The NPCs Are Too Aggressive. Because this game for at least the last three and a half months has had that problem and they haven't even addressed it. They haven't spoken about it. They don't ever listen to fucking feedback or the stuff they do listen to is from the people that don't have a clue about this game. There's not one person that's given good enough feedback or if they have, it hasn't been listened to. How many people have complained in my comment section, in on live streams and stuff, how many people or how many of you guys have complained about NPC aggression, grenade and drone spam on Legendary in the Summit, and instead of fixing it or looking into it or anything like that, they now have Overhill. I'm gonna leave the video there. I cannot be fucking bothered to carry on ranting because I want to crack on with things that I'm enjoying I will not be returning to this game in the form of doing serious content for it. The only stuff I'm going to be doing is fucking around, doing challenges, playing the game how I want to play it. I'm not going for builds or anything like that. Even when Season 4 drops, I don't give a shit about getting to Tier 100. I couldn't care less. I am done with the serious side of this game from now on. I don't know if I'm going to bring up the state of the game streams every week because they just piss me off week in, week out. I've simply had a fucking enough with their bullshit that they deliver when they do a stream. So I'm going to leave the video there. I'll see you guys shortly in some actual decent content. Some stuff that's worth talking about. There's good games and good updates and stuff coming to games and things to look forward to and current games that I'm playing and enjoying and all that sort of stuff that's actually a lot of fun instead of sitting there just moaning because they don't give a shit. They really, really don't. But I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the rant. Thank you for watching.